I want to talk to you a little bit more about working with pages in 90 Second Website Builder. Uh, this is Greg Hughes, and welcome back. What you call your pages, what you call your files, are really important as you begin to structure your website, especially the page that is called the default page. Every website has a default page, and the most universal name for a default page, according to most servers, is the name index. That's why when you launch 90 Second Website Builder, it starts you off with the default page called index because that's universally accepted. And so it's important that you know that your home page or your default page must be called index, I-N-D-E-X, all in lowercase. Because here's what happens. When you go to a website and you go to somedomain.com, the browser is taking you to that domain and to that server, but it's actually looking for a page to land on. And somedomain.com or yourdomain.com isn't a page. It's just a domain. So the browser needs to know what page should we start on. So all browsers know and all servers know to look for a default page called index so that when somebody goes to your domain.com, they don't have to actually type in the whole uh, name of the page in the URL. So in other words, you can just go to ebay.com instead of having to go to ebay.com forward slash index.html every time. That index.html or sometimes .php or whatever the extension is, that can be left off of the address because all browsers look for a default index page. Now, that's really important to know because a lot of times people will change the name of their index page and call it home because they want their home page to be called home. But it's really not a good idea to do that for the reasons I just said. So that applies just to your default page. The rest of your pages, it won't matter what you call them to a certain degree because people will be going to those pages because you're going to be providing links and navigation to those pages. So you can call those whatever you want. But let's talk a little bit about the name of the file on the page, the title of the page, and then a third thing about the page, its menu name. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I'm working here with the index page. And as you can see, it of course has a file name of index as it should. I'm going to open up the page properties by clicking the page properties button right here. And we can look at the properties of this page here. Now you'll notice that the title of this page, I called something else. I typed this in. I called it home because I want this to be known as my home page. Now what's the title? Well, the title is what will appear up in the browser tab. When people go to look at your website online, there's a little tab up in the corner. Let's go look at one and I'll show you what I mean. Now here I am at 90secondwebsitebuilder.com. And by the way, we're actually at 90secondwebsitebuilder.com forward slash index.html. It's just we didn't have to put that in the URL, remember, because the browser knows to start us there. And you'll notice up here in this little tab, it says web design software, and it goes on drag and drop web design software. Well, this right here is what is in the title of this particular page. If you hover over it, you can read the rest of it. Why is that important? Well, I put that in the title because that's the phrase that comes up when you search for 90secondwebsitebuilder.com on Google. That's what comes up. And so I want that to be sensible. I want that to, be, to explain what this page is about. So that's why the title of a page is so important. It has nothing to do with the file name. The file name of this page, page is index.html. The title is web design software, drag and drop website build a program. So there's a huge difference you should know about. There's one other attribute to the page you should know about. And that's this one right here called the menu name. Now the menu name you don't have to use, but in case you're going to be using 90 Second Website Builder's menu synchronization feature later, which basically allows you to create navigation and automatically pick up the name of your pages in your website so you don't have to be typing them in, the software will go and look for the menu name that you want to appear in your navigation. And you can decide what that is here. So obviously I'd want this to be called home because that's what I want to appear in the menu. Now, again, you don't have to use this. It's only if you're going to be synchronizing your pages with your menu bars later on. And again, you can always come back and change this information all you want. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. That page is done. So my About page, again, the file name is called about.html. But if I go to the Page Properties, which again, I can click this button, or if you remember, I can right-click 
and go to page properties to get to the same place. And again, you can see I've changed the title of this page to About Us. Notice I've used capital letters and a space because the title is something people will read online, either in the browser or in a Google search. And so I want the title to be sort of more uh, English friendly. The menu name, I might change this to a capital A About because if I use the synchronization later, it'll pick up the right menu name for the navigation bar. But the file name, again, you'll notice is all lowercase. Now, why did I do that? Well, the reason I name my files lowercase letters is basically so that I can stay consistent. You actually don't have to use lowercase uh, file names if you don't want to. The problem is if you start capitalizing some of your files and you don't capitalize others, it's really hard to remember which ones are capitalized and which ones aren't. That will matter later because file names are case sensitive on the internet. So in other words, capital I index is not the same as lowercase i index. In fact, if you were to accidentally upload a page called capital I index.html as well as lowercase index.html, you'll have two index pages, one that's correct and one that's not. But for the rest of your pages, you technically can use capital letters. I just avoid it because I like to keep my file names consistent so I don't make any mistakes on uh, keeping track of those files. The other thing you can do, you can also use hyphens and underscores if you want to in your file names. So let's create a new page here. I'm going to go up here to new page. And over in the site manager, you can see my page is listed here. It's also here in the canvas. And I'm going to rename this page. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to go up here to rename page. Again, I could have done this over in the site manager, but we'll just do it right here. Rename page. Again, this is the file name. So what if I wanted to call this contact us? Well, I can use underscores. What I'm not going to do is use a space. The reason we don't use spaces in file names is because the internet and browsers have a hard time with spaces. It fills those spaces in with funny characters and you can get all kinds of errors. Again, technically you can do it, but it's not always good because it can cause errors. So if you get in the practice of naming your files well, meaning lowercase and using underscores or hyphens to separate words if you want to, and keeping them consistent, you'll have much, much fewer errors when you go to publish and to look at your pages and to make sure they're all in the right spot. And, and managing them later. Also remember, again, the file name is different than the title. So this contact us page is just has a file name of contact us. But again, I need to give it a, a title at some point. So I'm going to right click, go to page properties. The default is always untitled page, which is not a great title. So I'm going to want to change this. And remember here, using capitals and spaces is fine because this is what's going to show. My menu name, I don't want that to look funny in the menu, so I'll let that match. Okay, so hopefully you get a good idea on how to name your pages and uh, the difference between, again, the file name, the title name, and the menu name. Really important to understand the difference between those. And if you start off when you're first building your website, kind of getting into the habit of naming them correctly, you'll have a much a smoother experience when it comes to publishing your website with 90 Second Website Builder.